have it. A lot of power from Caldwell. That is it. the tap. No. A lightning strike. Bellator finishing his debut for Darion Caldwell. But Caldwell, to his credit, does not let go of the guillotine and up against the fence. Look at the torque with the hips here. That's the kind of angle you want on your hips for the guillotine finish. Surma, no choice but to tap. That's what Caldwell's good at. He's great in the scramble as well. He'll keep moving. Taking the back just like that. What a gorgeous Done transition. Deal. Looking to finish. And there's the tap. A lightning strike submission win for Darion Caldwell. Start to hear the stand up in the corner. Look how he holds onto it. Right there, wrenching on the arm. And this hook, he stays behind him, is already looking for the rear naked. Even before he turned all the way, he had that right arm underneath his chin. Doesn't even get both hooks in, but you don't need him if you're that deep and that low behind him. Number one contender in the Bantamweight division, and he has been impressive here in the first two minutes. He looks one like hook so in. Far. Working on the choke. No hooks, only one hook in. He's going for it. He's got it. He's got him now. That's it. A wrestler's instinct a lot of times is to turn and explode, and the exact wrong thing to do, especially against someone as fast as Darian Caldwell. One hook in, and you'll see him lock up the choke nine times out of ten. Sean Bunch could explode out of that position. He could not do it against Darian Caldwell. No choice but to tap. There it is with the right hand. Positions he's never been before. Going for the rear naked. It's under the neck. This might be done. Trying to flatten him out. Joe Warren is flat, he's out, and it's done. And we have a new era in the bantamweight division. Look at the lift on this takedown. Beautiful five-point throw in freestyle. Beautiful stuff, but look, he doesn't let him go. He stays on him, is tenacious. Look at the choke. Just one hook in. We've seen him do this before. He's so long, he's so athletic. Once he's under the chin, you are done. Joe Warren, no exception. Been in there with black belts before. Look at his way up, unless he can get an underhook. Big one arm inside, though. He's going to be susceptible to be brought down to the mat. Caldwell loves his position. He loves his position. Oh my God. Can he get it right here? Yes, he it is it. all over. He has it. Ref, wait, wait, wait. Yep. It, right. it is all over. Darian Caldwell submits Leon Roigo. Ego did a great job. He stood back up to his feet here, but Caldwell had the position, meaning the underhook. So where they're going to go back down to the mat, we know that when Caldwell comes over the top for any submission, the absolute key, it's not pressure, guys. It's getting your hands locked. When Caldwell got these long arms around him, he was locked. It was too tight. He was under the chin. I thought Ego, I thought Ego had gone out when I saw his his hand temporarily moved there, but either way, Caldwell's in great position. He got his hips, he's got him pinned, but he has his lock under the chin. This one is over.